okay now in this video we will see how uh, the uh, how an instruction is loaded from the memory that is the all these instructions are stored in ram so we should first load this ram mem the whatever is the instruction stored in ram into the uh, instruction register and uh, only in the instruction register we can record decode these uh, this instruction and then create this control signals to execute that instruction so until now we were doing the uh, the instructions like uh, the ones we were doing uh, i think the str and all the str we did it is just for executing this str we did not do uh, actually load the actual str into the from this uh, ram into the uh, instruction register so from now on uh, to execute this this ec move r5 comma hashtag 25 uh, this we we will first load this instruction from the RAM into the instruction register and then from there we will execute the move instruction so so first we need to get it from the RAM for that we do the PC out PC is the in, uh, PC this is the pro program counter so now the program counter now the program counter has the this Move, the address of the move r5 comma hashtag 25 it is there in pc so we do the pc out so it comes in the internal processor bus now we have the mar in so the mar now has the value address of this move r5 comma hashtag 25 is there in mar now we do the select for why we do this is because uh, as we told before uh, that reading from the memory takes some time so the processor does not want to sit idle for that much time. So in that that small time period, we will do the incrementation of this, uh, incrementing the program program counter by four. We will do this at that time. So we do the select four here. So there is select four uh, from this constant four will be there name. And now add. So what what is there now in uh, internal processor bus? The value from PC. So it's there in internal processor bus as there is a PC out. So it is there in internal processor bus. It comes in B, and the value it's stored in Z in. So it's stored in Z, the incremented value. And uh, after that, we have done add, and Z in is done. Uh, add uh, only when you do add the uh, A and B are added, and then Z in comes. So the sum is stored in Z. Now we also have a read. So the uh, when the read in, uh, control signal comes, uh, the value in MAR. It is taken, the memory address is taken, and the memory controller will take that, uh, select that uh, position from RAM, and from the, through the memory, uh, memory bus, it should come to MDR. So let's see the second uh, clock cycle. In that, we have the Z out. So Z is that incremented PC value. We give it into the internal processor bus. We are, so in internal processor bus, we have the incremented PC value. Now what we do is PC in. So we take this in, incremented PC value and we increment, uh, we store it in PC. So now the PC is officially incremented. Now we have uh, Y in. Y in. Uh, so in Y we'll we'll keep that same incremented value of PC in Y. Uh, why we do? Why are we doing this? We will understand only when we uh, see the branch instruction. And then uh, we have uh, the MDR in E. MDR in E is for uh, the memory, but the, the memory fetch is being done right now. As there is a read instruction, the memory fetch, fetch is being done. So uh, this uh, MDR in E is for copying that instruction, that is the move instruction. It is going to come here and it will get into MDR. Now we also have wait for memory function uh, complete. That is because it is a memory fetch uh, that is being done now. Now we have the MDR out and IR. So what do we have in MDR right now? The move R5, 25. Uh, so now we uh, take it into the internal processor bus through M MDR out and then IRN. Now we have it in instruction register. Now it is uh, decoded by the control unit and decoder and the uh, necessary control signals have, have, uh, will be given out. And what are those control signals? Uh, to do this move R5, hashtag 25, we take the immediate field of IR out. What is the immediate field of IR? The immediate field here is number 25 so the number 25 is now there in the internal processor bus immediate field of ir out means the immediate value in this in here is hashtag 25 so that will be available in the internal processor bus now we do the r5 in so what is it we have we just have to move this 25 into r5 right 
So what do we have in here now? Now 25. That we take it into R5. So R5 now has the value 25. And we end that uh, end that instruction here by using this end. 